Hey guys, it's Hector here, and I have another cosplay guest, I guess you can say. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hi. Hajimashite. Watashi wa Meriko desu. Dozo yurushiku onagashimasu. Can you say that in English to the English fans? <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm Melika Uchiha from Sunshine Uchiha Cosplay. I have my own YouTube channel too. Mm -hmm. And like, well, you've been cosplaying for a long time, but how long have you really been doing YouTube stuff? Mm, not long. I had put some stuff that I did when I was、uh, in cinema school, but then when I kind of like, you know, priorities changed and all that stuff, I kind of like stopped editing for a little bit and only really kind of like took up on it again recently when through AMV and my creative writing. So I thought of like, Working on a project where I take like my poetry that I've wrote, written in the past year and my favorite anime and kind of make like a mishmash of the two together and create some like copyright free music so I don't have to get blasted by copyright infringement and all. <laughs> so, what was your experience in cinema school? Like, say like your resume basically. <laughs>、mm, my resume. Uh, well, What got me into cinema was like theater and acting and martial arts and all that stuff. I've always wanted to like make my own movie that involved like martial arts and like a bit of like, you know, East meets West, like Japan and like North America and all that stuff. And just like have fun with friends and just like, you know, because we cosplay, we could like make movies of our own. And through that, like, I. It kind of got me into theater and then photography, and then like、uh, more specializing in, in, in cinema where I fell in love with editing, post production. It's kind of funny how the world works. I started by wanting to be in front of the camera and then work my way behind the camera, and now I'm like in post production. Well, I'm not really too sure about all that you know, stuff. I'm not all a cinematographer. I never really did that cinema school stuff. The only experience I have is just with YouTube, a camera. And then, you know, editors on my computer. But, you know, another thing we have in common is cosplaying, as I'm sure everybody has seen. <laughs> and that's how you found me, right? Yep. So explain that. <laughs> explain the story. Tell the story. <laughs> the story of how it came to be.、Uh, so earlier this year, I had a friend that was like,、um, you know, he, he cosplays and like, he doesn't really wear makeup when he cosplays. So he's like, Mel, Mel, I need your help. I'm like, okay, what do you need me to do? He's like, could you go on YouTube and find like some like makeup、uh, tutorials for like Kirito and whatnot? So I go and do like some searches, and then YouTube suggested me His, this guy's、uh, <laughs> vlog on that. Yeah, and that vlog was a vlog from somebody else's because I was trying somebody else's makeup tutorial or whatever. <laughs> I was just giving it a shot. I did terribly. Actually, I, I disagree. I think you pulled it off pretty well. <laughs> it was too white. Too white, peach posh. Anyways, so,、uh, so you found me through YouTube that way,、mm. and then you started following me like on Instagram and Twitter and stuff and everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> and so I get a notification from Instagram and Twitter <laughs> and Snapchat and Tumblr. <laughs> but it's cool. No, but we've been talking in. Uh, so, you're gonna be going to Anime Expo now, and that's why you like flew down over here.、Mm -hmm. And that's in what, three days or something now? It is presently, actually, yeah, in about three days. Because I'll be heading down on Wednesday the 4th. Yeah, I'll be traveling on Independence Day. <laughs>、mm -hmm. And have you been to Anime Expo before? No, this will be my first time. Well, what's the、I、biggest convention you've been to?、Uh, in Canada, it would have to be between Otaku Ton and Anime North, which Anime North is in Toronto.、Uh, and in the States, I guess it would have to be Katsukon, because that's like one in the East Coast that everybody like, goes to because it has this wonderful like,、um, venue, which kind of looks like a bi biodome. Yeah, biodome. Because it's,、um, it's all like domey. And the hotel's in there, and the convention's in there, and the, there's a big indoor water fountain with like lots of greenery and everything. It's so beautiful. So, like, photographers and cosplayers could have so much fun. However, you can't really take pictures on the rocks because apparently it's dangerous.、Mm、hmm. Did we say where you, where you were from? Hmm. Gomen ne. 
I'm from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. 私はカナダのコペケのモントリオに住んでいます。And how long have you been cosplaying? I've been cosplaying, this is my eighth year, so about eight years now that I've been cosplaying. And it's only been recently that I've been getting more serious about like branching out and like maybe start making part of my own cosplay.、Uh, eventually, hopefully, when I inherit.、Um, Song, song machine for my family, I'll be able to start making my own cosplay that's more like fan made and stuff. And what would you say is your favorite cosplay thus far that you've done?、Mm, the one that I have the most fun is when I cosplay Haruno Sakura from Naruto. That's the one that most people are more familiar with.、Uh, I've, for, for five years before that, I was doing、uh, Sailor Moon,、uh, Tsuki no Uzagi. With the dangles and all. I did her school uniform, her princess outfit, and her sailor soldier outfit. And I had a lot of fun because I got to cosplay with my friends and all. And it was really an interesting story how it all came about because, like Serena or Uzagi, for the Japanese viewers,、um, I was in searching for like, you know, good friends and all that. And、uh, basically, through cosplay, met other. Cosplayers that really wanted to do Sailor Scouts, and we kind of became friends and all, just like the Scouts. So, like, when、uh, we had our first photo shoot with Drew in,、um, in Montreal, it was kind of like a magical story. And like, Drew's been like around in the community for so long, he's like, he's like I love it when I hear stories like that, like friendship that kind of like grew from cosplay and stuff. And when I got into Naruto, it was just like a bigger. You know, fandom and everything. Yeah, I'm barely getting into that myself.、Mm. But wh- while you keep asking me, like, what's your favorite this? What's your favorite that? Do you have a favorite anime? Because I can't, like, fully decide. Sometimes I, I say Full Metal Alchemist is my favorite anime. That's usually the best, in my view. But sometimes it's just so hard to decide. Have you decided what your favorite anime is? Mm, it's. Uh, it's. I have. Different favorites for different reasons.、Um, Naruto's just been my ultimate you know, favorite because it just has so much、uh, value within like, friendship and you know, how the character is developed and all, despite what most haters would say, you know, certain Kunuchis being useless and all.、Uh, I, I beg to differ. I, I believe every character you know, grew in their own.、Um, you know, Uh, their own rate or path, exactly.、Uh, and I just, I don't know, kind of grew up with that show, so I guess that's why it's my favorite. My second favorite would be Sword Art Online because、um, it's kind of the story of like how m- my best friend and I became really good friends was through that anime. We found each other and everything, and it was just unique in its way. And After that, I guess I would say that, you know, kind of being hungry for different kinds of like shonen or shoujo or、uh, day in the life,、um, I kind of don't really have a favorite because there's just so many to choose from. <laughs> But、uh, those are my two because they have personal, special meaning behind it. And Sailor Moon's my first Sailor,、uh, first anime I've ever watched, that's why it's on the top of there. Yeah, you know, we all try and share animes with each other. Some people say, you gotta check this out, you gotta check that out. And I also try and get people to check out video games. I had you playing Pokemon Yellow because we watched Pokemon Origins so she can get the original Pokemon story. But you tried out Yellow a little bit. But do you normally play video games? Yeah. It's hard for me to get into it because I just have attention uh, deficit uh, disorder. <laughs> But in the winter, I would catch myself more like playing video games. Then again, I tend to have more fun playing video games with friends than by myself. Just because that's just how the cookie crumbles for me.、Mm-hmm. So we're hanging out and chilling and doing a bunch of other things. Might do some cosplay stuff. I'm looking at my Sasuke cosplay up there.、Mm. Maybe. Maybe. And、uh, I don't know. Do you have anything else to say before we leave this video? I just recently started my YouTube channel, so like,、um, bear with me, you know, it's gonna take some time before I get my material out there. 
Uh, hopefully I'll have some friends help me out with my poem uh, poetry project that I have in mind to, to do. But if you're interested and you like my cosplay, you can check out my Instagram, which is uh, uchiasakura192, or my cosplay page on Facebook, Sunshine Uchiya Cosplay, and my YouTube channel, Sunshine Uchiya Cosplay Vlog, which will have uh, an array of different uh, types of um, works. Uh, some of it will be poetry, others will be you know, uh, some of my travel vlogs, because I did uh, film a lot of uh, my traveling that I did in the past few years. I did some quick little edits, but I kind of want to make it more like, you know, introduce and kind of entice people to go visit places that I've been to. And since I've been to Japan twice, I want to do uh, kind of like a mini series of um, how to prepare yourself mentally, physically, spiritually. For the big trip and all that because it does take a lot of money as most people say but once you're there it's pretty much like any other living expenses if you go where the locals are you'll be fine Daijubu. all right so hopefully uh, you guys can go check out her youtube channel instagram and all that stuff and <laughs> yeah i'll put links in the description <laughs> and well i guess that's it and then uh, you'll be doing more videos over at anime expo i mm -hmm. assume yeah live videos too yeah so i always i've been starting for the past year it's my second year that i'm traveling doing a lot of different like anime conventions all over the place so i this year i started um live vlogging them so i start by doing that and from the material there i just download it i'm not gonna make my own like vlogs yes i am french i don't i don't really know french <laughs> so we'll just see where it goes from there i guess yeah but uh, yeah, and like this video also. And subscribe to both of our channels if you like this sorts of stuff, you know, the otaku stuff, cosplay, and anime, and et cetera, et cetera. Evie says hi. And as always, don't be afraid to be an otaku. <laughs>